Instant heater? Storage heater? Which one? Yeah. Hello everyone, it's me again. Welcome back. In this video, I'll be comparing the differences between an instant heater and a storage heater. Do hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you won't miss out on future contents. I'll be comparing them in with a few key areas. First, being the size. Instant heaters are generally smaller as compared to storage heaters since instant heaters do not need to store water in them unlike storage heaters as the name suggests. Second, pricing. Instant heaters are generally cheaper than storage heater. So you may want to consider this factor given the budget you have set aside for the appliance. Third, installation location. Storage heaters are bulky. So newer BTOs has the location position at the service yard with the hot and cold point readily there to be connected. Whereas for instant heaters are installed directly in the bathroom itself. Fourth, electrical consumption. Instant heaters power consumption is generally higher than the storage heaters. Why? Because it needs to be heated at an instance. There's no need to wait for the water to be heated up for instant heater. Whereby for storage heater, you will need some time for the water to be boiled. This means you need to turn on the storage heater sometime before showering. So what are the pros and cons? Electrical consumption for instant heater is slightly higher whereby for storage heater is slightly lower in terms of electrical consumption but please do not forget to turn off the heater switch when not in use because the storage heater itself will still continue to draw power to keep the water hot temperature from the instant heater can be changed directly and instantaneous from the heater within whereby for storage heater the water temperature can be changed only using the bath mixer as the temperature of water is already fixed at the storage heater instant heater is visible at the bathroom but storage heater on the other hand is installed at the service yard in the newer BTOs and I've come to the final pros and cons instant heater is individual to each bathroom so if one gets faulty we can use the other bathroom to shower till the heater gets repaired or replaced whereby for storage heater, once the storage heater is faulty, that means no more hot shower for the whole household until the storage heater is repaired or replaced. One small tip for you guys, take note of the bath mixer, also known as the tap at the shower. If you're opting in the accessories from the HDB, the bathroom accessories, and you have decided to go with the instant heater, you may need to replace the bath mixer to cater for the instant heater. So my personal preference, I prefer instant heater of course due to the fact that and also I, I don't like to spend the time mixing the water left and right up and down just to get the correct temperature on a daily basis because I can immediately change the temperature from the heater directly. And of course personally I do not like to have a bulky item hanging right above my service yard where I'm gonna do my laundry. Hope this video has helped you to decide on which to get for your lovely home. Do subscribe so that you won't miss out on tips for your renovation journey. Comment down below if you have anything you would like me to cover. Cheers.